गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आर डिजिटल क्लास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड योर वेकेशन एंड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद आर स्टडीज ओके माई सेल्फ मिसेज शगुफ्ता शेख हैव कम अप विद न्यू लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर सेवेंटीन माई अपब्रिंगिंग Now, students, here are some pictures given for you. Now, what can you see in the first picture? Yes, children. There is a one small boy and a woman. And what are they doing? Yes, they are brushing their teeth. So, what can you understand from this? The boy is learning how to brush the teeth properly from. his mother now in the second picture what can you see there is one man and one boy and what the, that boy is doing he is trying to ride the cycle so from this picture what can you understand the boy is learning how to ride a bicycle from his father and the third picture what can you see there are some children and one old lady is there that old lady might be grandmother so what are they doing yes they are listening to the story told by grandmother they are learning how to behave from this and in the fourth picture what can you see yes one small girl is there and one woman is there so what can you understand from this this girl is learning the method of cooking from his mother from her mother in the fifth picture what can you see there is one man one small boy is there and one buffalo is there and what are they doing yes they are cleaning the buffalo so from this what can you understand yes boy is helping his father in the work he is also learning to take care of animals students we learn many different things while we are growing up as we are growing up we learn many different things such as for playing how to talk how to write and many more things they lead to the development of certain habits likes and dislikes and this creates many habits in us such as we are, we like to draw some like to play some some of the us like to write some of us like to paint many more habits develop in us they shape our views and thoughts this is what is known as our upbringing students you must have seen photographs of your childhood you began to crawl first then you learned how to walk and how to talk and apart from this you learn many more things such as how to brush your teeth how to bath how to eat without spilling how to behave with people older than you you learned many more things beside this basic ones you also learn how to fill your school bag how to ride a bicycle how to play a cell phone games is anyone teaching you all these things no as you are growing up this certain habits develops in you you also know how to feed the cattle how to buy groceries how to behave with strangers see if any strangers is coming near you would you go and talk to them no because you know they are the strangers people so you don't go near by them all these things no one teach us but but this habit develop in us 
This list can go on and on. How did you learn all these things? Who taught you all these things? Have you ever thought? From where do you learn all these things? Yes, children? Yes, you must have learned many of these things from your parents and relatives. Holding our hands, our parents, teachers to walk. They teach us how to behave and how to talk to others. When we make mistakes, they show us how to correct them. They want us to become good people. So, from whom do we learn all these things? From our parents. Whenever we are doing certain wrong things or doing some mistakes, they correct us. Why do they uh, do that? Because they wanted to become us a good people. Now children, do you know how does a lion cub learn how to hunt? Yes, is anyone going to teach them? No one teach them. So how do they learn how to hunt? A lion cub is not able to hunt as soon as it is born. It is taught how to hunt by its mother and other lionesses in the pride. These cubs are quite helpless for about the first two weeks. They do not even open their eyes. Therefore, their mother keeps them hidden away from others. When the cubs are about eight weeks of age, they are introduced to the other members of the pride. All the lioness take care of the cubs. A cub is pampered by all of them until it is three months old. Then it begins to learn how to hunt. It takes two to three years for a cub to become a adept at hunting. So, now you all know how does a lion cub learn how to hunt? Students, our loved ones do try hard to see that we develop good habits. Our close relatives like our grandparents, uncles and aunts also have great affection for us. We learn many things from them too. People who are close to us teach us to carry out our own task ourselves. They appreciate it when we call, when we can do all these things properly. They commend us saying that we have grown up. So all these things uh, we learn from our parents, uncles, aunt and all relatives. Now students, do you know, have you heard about names of Hali Raghunath Baraf or Samip Anil Pandit? Yes children? See, you are in the picture. Can you see? This girl name is Hali Raghunath Baraf. Hali is a girl from Shahapur Taluka in the Thane district. Hali rescued her older sister from Leopard. Students, now in this picture, this is a picture of a boy called Samip Anil Pandit. Samip rescued buffaloes tied in a cow shed from a fire. So for this brave acts, the two were felicitated with the National Bravery Award by the Prime Minister of India in 2013. See how brave they are. For their brave acts, they were awarded by the National Bravery Award by the Prime Minister. Now students, can you tell what did you learn from your parents and relatives? Make a list. How did you learn these things? Think about it. Now for your homework, you will make a list of all the things what you have learned from your parents. And how did you learn these things? You will make a list of it. Now we will stop here. We will continue in our next video. I hope you all might have understood till here. We will continue the lesson in our next video. 
kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification thank you